Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Little Homestead. I hope you guys like the name change. I feel like it was a better representation of kind of what I'm about. Yes, the goal is to be, you know, completely off grid, but it has certain connotations. I'm I'm not what you would consider a survivalist. I'm I don't like the government, but I don't look at it in a doomsday type scenario. And that's my official position, Your Honor. I really just want to exist on my land and be left the hell alone. So, uh, much like the early types, homestead. Seems like a better word. Anyway, today we're going to talk about one of my favorite tools, and it's not something that is very common up in this area. The machete. It's approved by your favorite warlord. I wanted to make this video because I'm clearing out a trail, and this is one of my favorite tools. It doesn't require gas. It doesn't break if you get a decent one, and it is always there when you need it. There's all kinds of alternatives for brush clearing. You can, I mean, all the way up to a tractor with a bush hog and a uh, bush hook and burning it all to the ground. Hooks and, and things like that. I like the humble machete. One of the biggest reasons is that it doesn't really wear you out. It's lightweight. You can swing it all day and you're pretty much going to be fine. It's not made for cutting down large trees or anything like that, but for clearing a trail out that already exists, there's nothing better. And whenever you're working with uh, smaller smaller trees and limbs and stuff you're just trying to cut back is right now these limbs are sticking out a good you know five feet from the trunk of the tree and I want to cut them all the way back with a chainsaw you've got to get or it's ideal to get all the way in and do the work from there you've got limbs and crap all over you the thing that's nice about the machete is you can just work your way in towards the center now the machete itself is not a chopping tool. A lot of people end up using it wrong. They try and go straight on to the material and that doesn't really work. It's actually quite a bit more effective if you slice it at an angle. The reason being, as you hit the material, the blade is dragging along it more like a knife than like an ax. It ends up cutting a lot easier. So that's the basics on our good friend the machete. It obviously has its limitations. I wouldn't recommend it for clearing a new trail, but if you're taking care of an old one, just kind of cleaning everything up, making sure it's passable, it's an indispensable tool. They're cheap, they don't break. Uh, I recommend getting one uh, with a wood handle. Um, wood tends to dampen vibration better than uh, plastic or, or other materials. And you want to make sure that the tang, that metal part right there, goes all the way through. Uh, that way you don't run near as much risk of breaking it. You're gonna wanna sharpen it before you use it. it. Takes about three minutes with a file, if that. One last thing, if you get the chance to get your hands on a cane knife, that to me is even better than a standard machete. They're very common down in South Mississippi, Louisiana. Um, they're originally used in cane fields. They're a little bit less flexible. They uh, are a little bit heavier. They have a hook on the end that helps for uh, delimbing really, really small branches. And I, it's honestly one of my favorite tools. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find one up here in Michigan. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I love you. And God bless.